after explaining in other short videos that the often quoted lines there were never any factory drawings at Fokker are complete nonsense, today I would like to show you where the rumor comes from that there were only drawings as sketches on graph paper, which were then used to make construction templates and one-to-one -one drawings on the walls and floors at Fokker's factory according to which construction is said to have taken place there. The whole thing is based on half-truth and were written down once and then copied over and over again. As in all other engineering offices, Fokker's aeroplanes were probably first designed on graph paper. As an example, I would like to use the design sketch of the Fokker V40 as I am building a replica of this aircraft based on this very design sketch and the photos taken during its construction at the time. Millimeter paper or graph paper for design sketches was nothing new at the time and had been around since the beginning of industrialization for good reason. It is therefore closely linked to engineering and the art of graphic representation. At Fokker, new aircraft were always first sketched out on graph paper. This served to work out the basic appearance and structure. However, appearance here does not refer to the visual design, but rather to the position and size of the components in relation to each other. In other words, where the wing should be located, where the landing gear should be, the position of the wheel axle in front of the center of gravity and the length of the fuselage as a lever arm for the tail. The known weights of the individual key components such as propeller, engine, fuel tank, pilot, landing gear, tail unit, resulting total force of the fuselage structure, etc were marked on this sketch and their distance from a reference plane was calculated as lever arms. The position of the wing was then determined based on the preliminary assumption that the resulting lift force, that is the pressure medium of the wing profile during horizontal stationary straight flight, would be located at approximately one third of the leading edge of the wing. In the side view of the fuselage, the fuselage frame and the pipe diameters and wall thicknesses used there were also drawn in these sketches. The truss structure of the fuselage was determined at the same time in the Cremona plan. The basic shape of the wing, the rib distribution, the design of the tail plane and its ribs, external dimensions etc. are also entered there and can thus be transferred directly from the graph paper design to the construction of the prototype. Since 60 prototypes were built at Fokker between 1914 and 1918, there are of course not finished factory drawings for all of them, as factory drawings only have to be produced for serious production. Every aircraft manufactured in series for the military was and had to be designed in technical drawings. Most designs remained sketches on graph paper since they never saw civil production, as it was the case of the V40. This is where the rumor comes from that Fokker never had proper factory drawings.